Right. <sighs> I am now up to the second, uh, the penultimate stage, applying the wax. Now I've given the table a clean, uh, vacuumed it over. Because I also gave it another light sanding after I'd done the little repair. Uh, so yeah, now we're up to the, the waxing bit. Got a very fine wool, wool steel wool, grade four zeros. Um, now you don't have to wear gloves when using that. Personally, I'm going to because it does irritate my skin. Um, I just I don't know why it just does. Uh, so I'll just read in the uh, the instructions. So basically, I'm going to cut this into a couple of well, just one small section really. Make a little bit of a pad with it. Open up the tin and uh, crack on. So where's my scissors? Uh, no, that's not what I actually call them. They are scissors. I just I don't really want to cut the steel wool over the table in case any little bits of metal come out of it. So I use my skills just to get a nice clean edge. I say I didn't want to come apart. Yeah, it. I mean, it's not. It's nowhere near as uh, aggressive as the uh, the coarse steel wool, uh, but okay, uh, but it, it it is irritating to my skin, which is why I'm going to go with the gloves. Also, with the amount of wax that I'll be using, I could end up. getting it on my fingers uh, right now this particular wax is a clear wax because I just want the natural colour of the wood to come through and hopefully hopefully uh, it'll come up to a similar sort of colour as it did when I neutralised it and when uh, I applied the oil yesterday so hopefully it should come up to that kind of colour. I may have I may have been better off getting a bit more wool but again, I'm still new to this. Now, I do want to move the camera a little bit. So I'm going to do that. All right. So, I'm going to make a pad. See if I can do it how they did it. Now, the idea with this is to kind of charge it up a lot like uh, we did with the cleaning stages and the oil stages so get lots on it now although it's white in there or a sort of gold yellow um, it it will be clear so yeah I'm just going to try and get lots and lots and lots onto the steel wool to charge it up now I know when I was talking to my dad the other day, he was saying that when he tried waxing stuff, he'd struggled. Now, one of the tips that I saw Gil Boys mention was to dab. So, so by dabbing along, what you do is you get a more even spread of the wax. enough not may not have enough on there so 
So yeah, so by dabbing, you just get a more even spread as you go along. And again, I'm going to do this panel by panel. I think I didn't get enough wool. I must admit, when I saw the mention about applying the wax with a steel wool, I must admit I thought, hey, fucking bonkers. But because it is so soft, it's not like it's scratching uh, the wood at all. Now, it may sort of look a little dull to begin with but that's because it's obviously not getting buffed up yet so I'm gonna have to leave it a little bit of time uh, when I've finished to dry a bit before I can actually try buffing up the wax. Oh. I'm gonna try and get I mean although I'm I think I'm putting plenty on I might not be putting enough on but I also may end up going too far in the opposite direction. So because this is wax and where I did the repair was wax, it shouldn't have any problems going over that. I'm trying to see if I can actually notice any kind of a difference. No, I can. Just. It is a little dull at the moment, but uh, like I say, it's going to need polishing and buffing up. I must admit, I'm looking at the amounts that I'm sort of dabbing on and comparing it to what I saw Gilboy's dab on and it does look like I'm using a little less until then should really have cut up a couple of strips ready to to change I'll keep going with this piece for the moment I mean I can always apply a second and third coat if necessary which considering the amount of stripping that I had to do on this might make sense to do a couple of coats on it notice that I'm trying to move my whole body when doing this to 
try and actually reduce the impact on my body. If I just tried doing it with my arm, I'd be stretching. As this hopefully is going to have less impact on my back. I think what I'm going to do as well is, in a minute, I will get another piece of wire wool and I might just go over it again, applying a little bit more. I probably should have just used a couple of pieces for this bit. Well, they're saying that, I mean, this isn't picking anything up off the table, it's just applying wax to it so whereas with the other pieces of wire wool when this starts getting a bit gloopy like it is doing it's just the wax not any chemical substance coming up off the table but it's probably not spreading the wax as well as it could do because it is a bit sort of clogged get myself another little bit of actually before I do I will just give down the sides a bit of a going over and then I'll get another piece of wool and just give it a light going over again Fuck that was then, it's the lid to the wax. Mm. I can't pick it up with the gloves on. All right, let's get some more wool. Grab a bit more out this time. So, so I'm just gonna sort of give it another sort of light going over the whole thing. Now, one thing I will say is because I'm wearing gloves at the moment, I've no idea how it's feeling.
hopefully. I mean, to me, it is looking like there's a uh, a slight colour difference, but with it being a clear, it's not like I'm adding colour. Uh, but also, I mean, like I said, I might be putting not enough on, but that's why, with my gut sort of telling me that that might be the case. So I'm sort of going over with a quickly with a second layer. Well, it's still the first coat because it hasn't dried yet. And I'm just, as I'm going across, I'm just trying to feel, see if there's anywhere that it's sticking a little bit that would suggest that it needs a little extra spreading because oh. ideally this should be silky smooth just waiting for a polish. Oh. I suppose one of the benefits of having hypersensitivity is that I do feel all of the all of the sticky bits. Oh. table then done for now oh. I need to see what it feels like I also need to pick up the tin lid but I want to I want to see what it feels like because I know what it should feel like That's fine. It's not wet, it's not sticky. That's, that's fine, that is. Now, yeah, it's fine. That'll buff up nice, hopefully. Uh, oh, now it might. It might not look like there's any coloration on it or anything like that. Admittedly, I don't think the light's helping it. It is probably a little lighter than I would I thought it'd end up being. Um, but uh, we'll see. Uh, let me just check. When touched dry, buff along the grain with a clean cloth or steel wool. Apply a second coat and repeat step two. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to leave this to dry. Uh, just thinking. I'm going to, I might hang around actually. I'll leave this to dry. Um, and then book, give it a quick buff in. And then I'll go and watch the F1. And see then if I want to give it a second coat. <sighs> Right, I'm about to run out of memory, but 
I am going to try and start buffing this. I don't think that's going quick enough. I don't think that is quite working how I want it to. I'm not having much luck with that. No, it's, not, it's not made it feel great. I'll go with a I'll give it a hand buffing. Oh. Yeah, it's giving it a little bit of a shine. Probably haven't buffed it enough. I'm not keen on the feel of that, if I'm honest. Let's try this other one. Ah, the joys. Right, this one feels a lot better and actually let me try that uh, let me try this one on the orbital sander To be honest, I can't really tell what effect it's having. Well, maybe. I'm not convinced. Maybe I just need to. Maybe I need to learn more about how to maximise the use of that. I just don't feel like it's spinning anywhere near enough. Considering that I might be putting a 
another coat of wax on it, you might wonder why buff it up. Well, I wondered that, but I came to this following conclusion. Ugh. If I don't buff this, then it'll always be dull underneath the next coat of wax. Apologies about that, my alarm went off to let me know that the F1 shows are beginning. So I need to try and get this done oh, oh, fairly soon, you know. Why I'm laughing, trying to hold it like that. I've got a hook and loop hand handle. I'll make it easier. Now again, I had to, I was going to say it might not look like there's any difference, but I can see on the camera those two panels have been polished, have been buffed. Ugh. Pretty much out of memory now on my camera but yeah again you can see that I have now polished that one so the camera might die at any moment if it does I will be back on probably to apply another coat of wax at some point Must make the colours looking a little better now as well. Oh, she feels lovely. It could still do with more buffing, but I think I'm gonna have to stop there and go and watch me F1, free up some space on my phone. Oh, see you in a bit.